Question 22, uh, shown above is the slope field for which of the following differential equation? You have A, B, C, and D. Uh, if you look at the slope field, because many students confuse, you see that you have an x-axis, uh, the sl slopes are zeros here. Otherwise, all slopes are positive. So this is can be, this one can be, this choice cannot be. And also x to the third not applicable at all, this one. Why? Because here is you could have negative slope, here, not applicable. If you pick a point like this, line segment, point one and negative one, and you plug it in here, 1 and negative 1. 1 and negative 1 is 0, but this is not 0. The slope is not 0, so this is not applicable. Choice D is correct. If you plug it in negative 1 in here, it will give us, if you plug it in negative 1, give us positive 1. If you plug it in negative 1, give us positive 1. The slope is positive here, positive. The slope is positive. And also here is positive. All slopes are positive. So uh, choice D is correct. Question 23. The base of the solid is a region in the first quadrant bounded by the x-axis and uh, y-axis and x-axis. Uh, the graph of y equals y to the uh, e to the x and the vertical line x equals 1 so you have uh, in first quadrant here uh, line x equals 1 here and also you have e to the x So, D wants to find each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis is a square. What is the volume of the solid? If you square that, if you square that area, you could build three-dimension figure. It will be clear on MATLAB. Like that. They want to find the volume of the solid revolution. When they tell you cross section perpendicular, the function must be, if it's one function, it must be squared before you integrate it. Before you integrate it, you integrate it from zero to one. This is your balance from zero to one. So the function must be uh, squared. If you have two curves, if you have two curves, like curve like that and curve like that, you subtract the two functions f of x minus g of x and then you square with respect to x, integrate from bounds. In this question, we're going to integrate e to the x squared with respect to x from 0 to 1. When you integrate that, it will be uh, e to the x square. I mean, it's the uh, square x that's wrong. Actually, you multiply 2 times x when you square it. So it will be e exponent 2x. You integrate it from 0 to 1 with respect to x. When you have that, e to the x is the same e to the x to the 2x. And your reciprocal to, to be a half. e to the nx integrated will be e to the nx times 1 over n. Uh, so this is the integration and uh, we have it from 0 to 1. So we apply f of 1 minus f of 0. f of 1 minus f of 0. The function f capital is the function after integration. You substitute for 1, it will be a half e exponent 2 times 1 is 2. 
minus x you substitute for 0 e to the 0 is 1 times a half is a half so it will be a half e square a half e square minus a half the correct answer is b